Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're like me, you probably sit around in the shack doing a lot of thinking. You think about your radios, you think about your antennas, you think about new radios, you think about new antennas, or making new antennas. Well, I've been doing some thinking. And uh, I know the uh, NFED long wire is pretty popular. Guys will uh, uh, throw them up in a tree and slope them, slope them wires up into the tree and feed them on the end. And they're having really good, having really good success with them. And I got to thinking, you know what? I'd like to try that, but I want to do an end-fed sloping wire that's mobile. And I got to thinking, I wonder how I could do that. So you know what? We're going to find out. We're going to build one and we're gonna go have some fun. So are you ready there, baby girl? All right, she's ready. Let's go do some work and let's have some fun. Introducing the mobile end-fed sloping long wire. This is a 29-foot sloping end-fed wire and it's fed with a Nelson nine for one un un it's 29 foot wire because that's one of the recommended recommended <laughs> recommended uh, lengths of wire to go with their un un we've got it mounted here at the bottom at the gator end with a little bit of pvc to help kind of uh, tie it off to we've got a coax running down from the un un over here to our ICOM 705 and that's uh, also we got a tuner down here it's the MAT uh, 705 tuner which will be running that and uh, we've got the wire sloping up to the uh, terminating end up there we've got it tied off here with the PVC and we only went to 16 feet to stay below the uh, legal height of uh, power lines. So we're well below those uh, going down the road. So we don't have to worry about that. From the gator coming up, we got the wire going to a tension pulley. Coming down to another pulley, which is spring-loaded with the bungee cord and a rubber cord. And the purpose of this is... So when we turn the gator around a corner, the length or the distance between there and here will shorten. So what we did was in order to keep the wire taut and tight, we in put, the, put them on a, a pulley system. So as it loosens, this will draw down and keep tension on the wire as we're making the corner. And that'll keep our wire nice and tight uh, when we turn around corners. So I talked to my good friend Walt at Coastal Waves and Wires, and I asked him, I says, hey Walt, I've seen you use some short counterpoise uh, just hanging there off of your ununs. I says, what would you recommend for a length of counterpoise on this wire? He said about six and a half feet. So I hooked up this wire and it's hanging down six and a half feet and it actually decreased my SWR by a half by uh, uh, five tenths of an SWR. Went from uh, 3.9 SWR down to 3.4 SWR on 20 meters. So uh, it does benefit as far as uh, bringing the SWR down. So I'm going to leave it on there and see if that See if that helps us out here when we're trying to make some calls. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima, Bravo. Yeah, 
Yeah, Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo, QSL. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. Got it, that time. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. Thank you. Uh, 53, Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. Uh, the, uh, Roger, Roger, K0, KLB, Kevin in Iowa, over. K0, KLB, that gentleman, K0, KLB, by the way, guys, he was the famous guy that does QLP, and he activates on any and all type of antennas, so if you ever get a chance to watch his YouTube video, it's K0, KLB, Kevin, and he has a net on Friday night to find out how often and how far the QLP station can go. And Kevin, you're a uh, you're five and two. Roger, 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 Roger. You're a 5959. I am on a mobile NFED sloping wire. NFED sloping wire that's mobile right now. Over 5 watts QRP. QRP. Okay, I understand you're doing a mobile activation out there. Can you send me Thank you very much, Kevin. Hello, Oscar 4, Golf Sierra Mike, K0KLB. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger, Kevin. Got you. Bye. A little over 5-5 five, five right now. Okay, 5-5, five, five, I'll take that. You're a 5-5 here. How many watts are you running? Running 5 whiskey. You just came up to a 5-7. Oh, I left a 5-7. Running 5 whiskey here also on a uh, mobile NFED sloping wire. Uh, I'm going to get over. <laughs> Is this your new creation? Yeah, roger, roger. I'm uh, heading south on the road. My NFED's pointing uh, north. Over. Whiskey Delta 5, Juliet Oscar, or yeah, Juliet Oscar Echo. Come on in, Joe. How you doing? Hey, not doing too bad. I just saw your post, and I uh, thought I'd see if I could hear you. You're a little lighter than I thought. Uh, you were last night, but boy, I got you still. Maybe about a 4-4, four, four, Roger. Thank you for the 4-4. Four, four. You're about a 5-5-55. Five, five, I'm, uh, I'm mobile on the Gator right now. Over. Well, there we have it. We uh, were able to make some 5 watt QRP calls through my mobile NFED sloping wire. And uh, let's see, we got Idaho, we got Massachusetts, we got South Carolina, and New Mexico. So, hey, I'm happy with that. And uh, got some pretty good signal reports. It was interesting. Uh, the when i traveled east and west on the road uh, my signals were weak and i got i got that idaho station but i think i got lucky on that one as soon as i turn and head north where my antenna was uh, pointing north south signals came up and i was able to get uh, more east and west a lot better so direction did make a big difference on the uh on the mobile and fed sloping wire so we had a good time didn't we Yes, we did. We had a good time. Anytime she's on the gator, she's happy. So anyway, thanks for stopping by and watching. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you next time. 7-3.